Oh man! I just got smoked on the Avid. Oh! I'll tell you guys what, I have done so many different types of fishing in my life. The kayak fishing, immediately addicted. This thing is sick. Keep watching the video guys, there's a lot of good content coming your way. And if you guys are interested in the charter aspect of this video, stick around towards the end because I'm going to discuss all about how you guys can go out on a trip on your own. So stick around, we're going to get tight. I don't know if it's a runner. What is it? Spanish. It's a Spanish. Let's go make our way over to Matt and oh, it was a Spanish. Now hook pulled. It was hooked in the throat actually. All right guys, so I just lost a Spanish. They all have runners and who, Eric, you got a Spanish or Matt got a Spanish? Oh, Matt got two Spanish. Matt, oh, there's another one. It's tape wrapped. I got a good runner for the well. They, got, they actually have the live well on their kayaks. I don't have it on mine, so I'm gonna go swing over to them and uh, give them this runner. Yeah, it looks too big. Too big? Yeah. All right. We got extreme baits over here hooking us up with some fresh live gogs. What are we, are we getting a dozen? A dozen, yep. A dozen gogs. Yeah, where? Eric and Matt and I are working our way offshore. We picked up those gogs from his buddy Kenny. And we're gonna start in around 60, 70 feet of water right on the edge of the lid and work our way out. We're gonna put our gogs out and slow troll them out and see if we can get a king, sail, something. Guys, so we are at the desired depth we want. We're gonna right around 60, 70 feet of water. I have some stinger rigs that I tied last night. Bring this GoPro out, way we don't miss a beat. Yeah, go ahead. We're slow trolling them. So one through the nose right there and one through the top of the back. Woo! And she's gone. I'm gonna slow troll my gog. We're spread out. We got Eric over there, Matt over there, and we're just gonna slow troll from the reef all the way out to the 120, 200 foot ledge and so far guys, Matt is on the board with black fin tuna. He actually got vertical jigging. That live bait's going crazy back there. Woo! All right, hooked up here with about 280. Eric's sending Mark to school going by. Definitely feels like a tuna here for sure. My arm's dead from jigging. I can't reel anymore. I'm so beat. I've been jigging the whole way out here. Uh, no, tuna, nice tuna, really nice tuna. Gaffable, gaffable tuna. Yeah, it's a little 8 10 pounder. Alright. Alright, to start. Nice tuna there. You know, probably about five, five, six pound tuna. Nothing gigantic, but great, uh, great for sushi, sh uh, sashimi, anything. So I'm stoked to have them. I'll take them. And we got out to like 280. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start drifting. You know, we're all spread out. We got our gogs out still. And I think we're just gonna drift and jig and just jig over the sand. You know, vertical jigging can be very productive. You can catch anything that swims in the ocean on a vertical jig. If you guys do book a charter with deep blue kayak fishing. They will provide all the rods and reels for you. And um, one thing that's very popular when it comes to kayak fishing is vertical jigging. Cause while you're waiting for your live bait to get hit, you could be doing something productive and jigging in the meantime. On bottom. We're hooked up on the bit. That was on a more uh, a flutter style jig. Oh wow, you grew up. Right. Yeah, that's what I love to hear. Hell yeah! I guess he wasn't woken up earlier. That ain't working you. It's a shark. 
get out of here. Or, or an Atlantic sharp nose. How the heck did I catch this thing on a butterfly jig? Oh, there it goes. He's off. And he decided to take my hooks with him. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hook pulled. All right, I got a good fish out here. Matt's hooked up, I dropped the jig. I'm hooked up. Oh, might be a tuna or a bonita. It's at the surface. Feels like a big fish, but I think it's a bobo. It's gotta be a bonita. Yeah, it is. Bobo. Fun catch, definitely put up a hell of a fight. And usually there's tunas mixed in. They're fun, but not what we want to catch out here. Oh man! I just got smoked on the avid. Oh, we're on! Nice fish! Oh! <laughs> smoked on the gog! Smoked! Oh, big fish! On the gog! That's gonna be a big king! Oh my gosh! I have no time to reel the on uh, my uh, jigging rod in either. Oh yeah, this fish has some shoulders. Oh, that was aggressive, guys. Being just in the water with your fish, it, I mean, being at eye level is just so sick. It's just such a personal thing, you know? Now, the tricky thing is, is I gotta get, I wanna, I wanna clear my uh, jigging rod, but I don't want this fish to go slack at the same time. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to clear this out of the way, I'm trying to keep tight with this fish at the same time. But I don't want to get any tangles, so let me try to clear this jig rod out of the way. Losing a quality fish on the gog, not worth it to a simple mistake of just clearing a line, you know? But it's hard, you know, you're not on a boat, you're not able to really put things in rod holders as easily as you would a uh, boat. The jig rod is in, I don't even care, I'll get it all the way up to the tip. Line's cleared, now let's land this thing. Oh, you did? I got hit on my bait and he got cut off. It, it feels kingy or wahoo-y, for sure. Awesome. I mean, my god was all the way over there, and with the, I heard my clicker go off, and I went to just... Look at this, look at this! I, <laughs> I went to get my rod, and the freaking thing's all the way down there underneath the kayak. Wow, what a difference on a kayak. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, it's sick how you're, you know, you're right next to... Right on it. Yeah. It's a king. Yep. It's right here. I just got first sight of it. Oh, he saw the kayak and flipped. Yeah. I have to tell you, usually when they see the kayak for the first time, good size king? 15 pounds, probably. Oh, no. Oh, there's nothing easy about kayak fishing. <laughs> you gotta steer. But it's fun. Yeah, you got fish. you gotta steer, gaff your own gaff fish. Your own fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's pretty big king. Yeah. Oh, he's bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> I think the GoPro might be a little wet. One more turn, you should get around. Right there. Let me know if you can help Gaff. Coming right around the other side. We got no pump coming in there. Yeah, yeah if you want us to Gaff it, we can do that too. Coming up, pedals. Coming on one more turn. <laughs> oh shit! That's bigger than 15, dude. That's a 20 yes. plus king, baby. Oh yeah! Nice. Dude, I thought you were going over. <laughs> I, I knew when I stumbled. Oh man! Wow! Sick, dude. Awesome, man. <laughs> 
I saw the gap shot. I like, stuck oh. him like three feet on. <laughs> that gap is buried in him though. <laughs> Take your time now. You got a little bit. Yeah. This one I said that, yeah. This yeah. Is that was exciting. There is nothing easy about kayak fishing, but it is, it just makes your fish that much more rewarding. I mean, these guys, I got to hand it to them for be able to steer, gaff your own fish. I stuck that fish. You're not on a boat. You don't have the leverage of a boat. A kayak turns a lot easier. It's so small king yeah, will small turn, king. turn your boat very, e or your kayak very easily. That's a 20, that's over 20 pound king fish, man. That yeah. ain't a, the dog's gotta be patient out here. It will happen. It's yeah. Just, you gotta find them. Yeah, exactly. Right off the bottom, Victor just landed his king. They're still taking pictures. And I'm hooked up. Feels like something decent. Woo! Who knows what we got on here? It's a little fishy spot for sure. Nothing like reeling a fish up from 224 feet deep, let me tell you that. Especially when you've already been jigging all day long. Probably eating good tonight. I got a good grouper. If you see that little, um, hard to explain. You see that uh, tower? Okay. To the right of that, there's like a two story, looks like a white roof. Okay. That's the land just to the right of that. Okay, gotcha. All right, guys, we are back out. I just re-rigged. This is what we're fishing. These are goggle eyes. You guys have seen me fish these before and put them down on a stinger rig. And um, Eric and Matt also like the single stingers. You guys like it too, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And I think especially from, you know, when you're in a kayak, a lot of things can go wrong and you want to try to minimize those chances. So by not fishing trebs, you're minimizing a lot of things that can go wrong too. You guys see how I'm jigging now, how I have the uh, butt in my lap and I'm kind of doing aggressive jerks and letting it flutter down. I'm fishing a wider style jig, which flutters on the way down. It's not so much a vertical jig where you're kind of pop, 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 and it's zigzagging. It's a slower flutter. Eric just pulled hooks on something and Matt just got cut off. So there's definitely fish around here. The guys just told me we're gonna do one more drift. We're going back out. And I think we're going to head in. So guys, one really cool thing about this type of style of charter business, which um, Eric and Matt do is, you know, you're involved. I I'm sure a lot of people think of charters, you know, go on this big sport fish and someone just hands you the rod and you reel it in. I mean, it's physically challenging, physically challenging to land the fish. You're doing everything on your own. You're putting your own, own bait out. You know, if there's a learning curve for you, they will help you out and do as much as they can but it's so much more rewarding when you guys do it yourselves, which is really unique about the whole kayak fishing experience is it's, you're very involved, it's very personal. It's not here, hold the rod and reel it in and catch the fish, you know? It's actual real fishing. GoPro stop recording. Haha, <laughs> you guys like that? The new GoPro that I got it allows you to voice command your GoPro to either start recording if it's on or completely shut off, which is, I think it's pretty cool. You know, especially when you're doing something like this where you need to be hands-free. No way, the jig was just sitting there. The jig was just sitting there and something ate it. Oh yeah, very small, it's barely full in anything. No way, it's a bullet, Bonita. You guys already know what I'm about to do with this thing. We need to keep this alive, sit right there. I need to take this gog off. I caught possibly the best bait to put out, which is a bullet bonito. It's kind of tricky trying to do this. Sorry, Mr. Goggleye, you are gonna have to go away. Oh man, my bonita got off. There goes that plan. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this is the Tsunami Shield. I fished the smaller size of 3000 in a wade video. This is the 6000. And uh, I've been fishing this today and liking it so far. I mean, I have no idea how it's going to perform in the long run, but we will see. Only time will tell. It's going to be another runner. What we were trying to catch in the morning for bait. Oh man, he did not like that. Sounds sad, doesn't he? Oh, the god got smoked. Come on, come back. Come back. There we go. On. It's another king. Yep. Just swam straight at me.
Very green king. Yeah, he does not know he's hooked. Yeah, there he goes. He just swam. Well, he swam straight to the kayak at first. Got him! Oh, that one's in the head. Oh, that's <laughs> going now. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, beautiful. Another king to end the day. This is King Luke right here. Nice little seven, eight pounder there. Beautiful fish. One for the grill, for sure. <laughs> That's a good one for the grill. Thank you guys for watching the video, and thank you, Eric. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you, Matt. Blast. I wanted to go over what these guys offer. You guys never see me promoting people, never see me promoting charter companies. I don't view these two as a charter company. These guys put you on an adventure. You know, they're not your typical charter where they're just going to tell you, okay, reel this in, reel this in, this is what to do. They explain to you guys why, what you're doing, where you're fishing, and it's a very interactive, very personal style, and it gets your adrenaline pumping. I mean, the kingfish and the fact that you're so level to the water and everything is just so up close and personal it's it's completely different than what i'm used to or what people are used to briefly i wanted to touch up on what you guys offer in terms of species inshore offshore what do you guys what are you guys about well for the offshore species you know we're going after the sailfish wahoo tuna mahi anything pelagic anything that swims anything that we can eat we definitely want and then matt you go over the inshore bite. yeah the inshore fishing is great you know that kind of gets overshadowed you know we got such great offshore fishing um, but the inshore fishing is just as good. You know, we got monster stuck here. We got tarpon. You got your redfish, monster jack crevals. I yep. mean, the inshore fishing. Peacocks, you can right? peacock bass, freshwater. Yeah, we got everything here. You got freshwater peacock bass. That's the only spot in the U.S. where you can catch peacock bass. So there's a whole, or yeah, just a whole array of species that you can catch by kayak, which is great. I think one of the coolest things about you guys and your business is the fact that, you know, a lot of people get seasick and a lot of people are not comfortable with going offshore. And that's, you know, kind of where you guys shine is you guys can go inshore, you can go to Lake Ida, you guys yep. can go and chase bass. These two, they do it all. They will cater to your needs. If the wind's blowing, you guys are still going because they're going to find a way to go. <laughs> Absolutely. There's inshore. always something to catch in Southeast Florida. Exactly. That's the beauty of it. All of their information will be in the description box below, guys. Their website, phone number, everything, booking. They decided to do a 10% off promo code. So if you guys book a charter, just mention my name, tell them Landshark sent you, Victor sent you. They will give you guys 10% yep. off. This guy right here. None of that goes to me. <laughs> None of that goes to them. It's just a way for us to track traffic because you know, we're all businessmen and I want to give them business. They took me on a great trip. I had a blast kayak you, fishing. Yeah, you all fished us too. Yeah. <laughs> I get emails and questions all the time. Do I do charters? I do not do charters, but these two right here do. So please check them out. Just check out their website, see what they're all about. It's just amazing to think that, you know, in this day and age, you guys can go offshore, catch pelagic species and stuff from a kayak that was unheard of 10 years ago yeah. 15 years ago please make sure to like the video leave a comment below subscribe these two also have a youtube channel like i said all of their information will be in the description box below and as far as a catch and cook video goes the kingfish that i caught today will be cooked up in a separate video so look forward to that i'll be seeing all you guys my land sharks in that next video